Okay guys, so I totally forgot to film an intro for this video, so this is the intro guys. Um, welcome to my channel, thank you so much for clicking on my video. My name is Alexis Jones, if you are new here, thank you so much once again for clicking on this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, all that good stuff. Make sure you guys are, you know, show me love on my videos and comment down below and just letting me know what you guys think. Um, but without further ado, I'm going to be showing you guys how I get this look right here. And I'm short blonde, y'all. Like, oh my God. <laughs> um, so yeah, guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video. And we're just going to get into it. So I've already washed my face, but a lot of you guys always ask me, like, what do I do for my skincare routine? Guys, honestly, I really don't do anything. I just started getting into skincare. Um, so I'm going to show you guys my moisturizers and my oils and all that stuff. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my Ola Hendrix Brightening Cream. This is the Banana Brightening Cream. So I like to just take a little bit of that. Oh, <clears throat> I like to take a little bit of that and, like, apply it under my eye just to help you know brighten up under there and all that stuff and I also apply it like on top as well just to brighten up all that it's a really good eye cream it makes it very moisturizing now that I have like my um, eye cream on I'm gonna go in with my caress wild rose moisturizer um, I also used their face wash this morning as well um, so I'm gonna do that and I'm just going to apply this and I tell you guys this stuff is so freaking hydrating on my skin I'm like obsessed with it one of the brand reps came and like talked to me and we like she like tried them on my skin and all that stuff and I've been obsessed ever since so that's what I'm gonna do you just makes your skin feel so good oh my god so good now that we have our moisturizer on, I'm going to go in with the Wild Rose Brightening Oil. Um, I always apply my oils last. Oils is a topper. It goes last. You never apply your oils first. It's like a sealant, I guess. You like seal all the products in. It seals everything into your skin. So, oh, watch the brow. Watch the brow oil. Um, so I'm going to, and I like this because it's a dry oil. It's not going to leave my skin oily or anything like that. So, that's why I like it. It literally just soaks into my skin. Oh, doesn't my skin just look so good? What do you guys think of my hair? Oh my god, I didn't even freaking mention it. So this is the same wig that you guys seen in my last video, the long blonde one. I just decided to cut it, and when I tell you guys, I butchered this, y'all. This came out so bad. First of all, this side is like a hair longer than this side. And I cut it way too short. I was trying to cut it at least to maybe about like right here. But I just kept chopping at it and cutting it short. And it just kept getting shorter and shorter. So this is what I'm left with. And this is a frontal, guys. But I didn't feel like doing all the extra work. So I literally only like glued down just this little front right here. And that's about it. But what do you guys think of the short hair? My husband and my best friend is like obsessed with it. She's been telling me all night, oh my god, your hair is so cute. I didn't like it at first, but you know how it takes for somebody to tell you something is cute for it to be cute, if that makes any sense, but that's pretty much what happened with me. For primer today, I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer. I love this primer, and it, it just smells good. I always get people that ask me, well, why do you use primer? What is primer for? And I'm just like, girl you don't use primer like I mean I guess you don't have to use a primer it's not like a necessity but if you don't use a primer and you don't set your face with a powder I don't understand how your makeup even lasts for 10 seconds I'm just gonna like set my areas like my t-zone areas because although my skin is super dry right now and I tried to like not set it because I figured my skin is too dry to set my my primer but it still gets really oily in those areas so I'm gonna set it so I got this new hourglass um, veil mineral powder sent to me by my job so I'm gonna be trying this out today I just thought that I wouldn't have to do this step because my skin is so dry but girl when I tell y'all I be looking like I got enough oil to make chicken I don't know but yeah so I'm just setting my areas before we go to foundation I've been loving to use this cover FX um, these are the custom enhanced drops I think what shade is this in this is in the shade Candlelight. I've been loving these under my foundation. When I tell you guys it... Oh. Oh. Okay. When I tell you guys it makes a huge difference. It really does. And my skin looks so freaking pretty. Oh my god. My skin has been looking so pretty lately. So that's literally what I'm doing. For foundation today, I'm going to go in with the Becca Ultimate Coverage Foundation. This is their 24-hour foundation in the shade... 
Amber. On my Morphe R6 brush, this brush is so dirty, guys. Don't judge me. I'm going to use this to blend this out, but... Guys, so I've been like, I don't know, I'm like going through this thing where I'm obsessed with doing YouTube and I love doing YouTube, but I just feel like, you guys know I work a full-time job, and I'm just having a problem learning how to like balance the two. Like, I don't, I always tell myself I don't want to work for nobody. I've never wanted to work for anybody. I've always said that my entire life, and I love my job, don't get me wrong, but I'm trying to decide if, if I need to, you know, quit my job to focus on my YouTube channel and, you know, just, you know, make 2019 the best year that I can make it because I find that a lot of the times I find that I'm too lazy to film videos or I'm too tired to film videos because I, I work nine hours a day and then I have to come home and film a video or if I have to be at work at eight o'clock in the morning, I have to get up at like four to film just to make sure that I have to have, you know, content for you guys because I have to do my makeup every day anyway for work. So I always have to end up getting up really early and then the footage just never comes out right because I'm just like in a crappy mood for going to work. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but you ever like, how do you explain it? Like for me, I wake up every day depressed like I'm not even gonna lie to you I wake up every day depressed I cry like all the time because I'm so depressed for going to work and it's not my job I love my people at my job I love my managers I love my co-workers I love everybody but it's not what I want to do with my life and I feel like it's it's not helping me as much as I would like it to like it's not it's not I want to do YouTube for the rest of my life, you know what I mean? Or not like for the rest of my life, but I would love, I want to do YouTube for the rest of my life. And I feel like YouTube is my goal. YouTube is my dream job. And it's hard for me to get there because I'm focusing on another job. And I'm putting all my effort and energy into another job. And I'm just so unhappy with like my life or whatever right now. Like I was listening to a motivational speaker and he was like, if you died today, would you be happy with the life you lived? Or would you be happy with the career choices you were in or the situation you were in and you know you could have done something to change it? And I was just like, dang, like no, I would not be happy because I don't feel like I'm giving you to my all, my 100%. And that's another reason why I'm not like, you know, as big as I want to be on YouTube or whatever the case may be because I'm distracted because I'm working a whole nother job. And I'm just like, I'm just like trying to decide like what do I do like it's so um I'm just talking I use the foundation stick in the shade Coco by Anastasia like I'm just so stressed out about it because I'm just like what do I do like my heart wants me to quit my job so that I can focus on my YouTube channel um but I'm just like I don't know if that's the right decision like is that the right choice like what do I do like I don't know like and I know that that would be a huge sacrifice for me quitting my job but I'm just like, I, I don't, I just can't, I don't know. Like, I'm just like so frustrated. Like, I talk to my husband about it all the time. And he's just like, you know, do whatever makes you happy and all this stuff. And I'm just like, I don't know. Like, I don't know what to do. Like, I really just want to quit my job and focus on my channel and, you know, um, focus on being a better creator and all that stuff, pushing out nice and good content for you guys. But it's just so hard to do that when you work a full-time job, um, when you work a full-time job and you want to do YouTube full-time like it's so much work it's so stressful um, it's not as easy as as it seems and then I never have time to edit because I'm at work all day and then my off days I pretty much sleep all day because I'm so tired from being at work all week I don't know guys help me out comment down below and just like let me know what do you guys think what should I do um, I don't know I'm just like having a really hard time deciding like my heart is telling me to just like quit my job and like focus on my YouTube channel and but I don't want to be irresponsible like I mean if I quit my job I wouldn't lose out on much the money is like whatever to me um I don't make that much guys but and that's another thing why it's like not motivating to me because I'm full-time I make more than minimum wage and my paycheck is still like shit like it's crap and I'm just like I don't understand I'm working all these hours to, I'm working all these hours, you know, being, doing all this, doing all this full-time work and all this stuff to make what, like $600 every two weeks? Like, what? Like, that's, I just, I don't know. I just get so frustrated when it, when I see my paycheck or when I see, you know, just little stuff like that because I'm just like, I don't understand how people do this. I don't know. And it's no shade to people that, you know, work full-time jobs work nine to five it's no shade but that's just not me personally that's not what I want for my life and I'm just trying to figure out how to get to where I want to be I don't know but my beauty blender is dirty so I'm gonna go wash my beauty blender I'll be right back
no so that's literally what I'm dealing with like I just I'm just trying to decide like what do I do you know like what do I do I want to be so successful so bad. you ever want something so bad like you feel like sick to your stomach like you're gonna throw up like I don't know if that's weird or if that makes any sense but that's how I feel when I think about being successful I just want it so freaking bad I want to be able to take care of my family so bad to the point that it just like hurts and I don't know like I'm trying to figure out how to get there but it's so hard trying to figure out how to get to where you want to be like there's no guide there's no map to doing YouTube really trying to figure everything out on my own as I go and I'm just like so frustrated about it um, but you know everybody had to go through this I'll figure it out eventually but yeah guys so that's just literally what I've been dealing with um, I don't know so I'm gonna use that same um, conceal that same setting powder this is the Mineral Veil Setting Powder, I believe is that what it's called. I'm just making up names. This is the Veil Translucent Setting Powder by Hourglass. So I'm going to use that. I'm trying to decide. I think I'm going to use my Beauty Blender today. I haven't really used my Beauty Blender much. And then I'm just going to pat that under my eyes. Lately, I've been using a, um, a brush to do my to set everything but I'm gonna try going back to a sponge just for today just to see what I think okay this this translucent powder is kind of good look at that okay hourglass you might be on something y'all might be doing something with this translucent powder or whatever why ain't nobody tell me that this looked like this I'm okay I'm too hype I'm too hype I'm too hype Y'all, this translucent powder, oh, it's so, I think it's like blurring my skin. Like, is it supposed to be a skin blur? I don't know, but it's like blurring my skin and making it look all nice and whatnot. If you guys could feel how hard I'm beating my face right now, like literally. <laughs> I'm going to take a Morphe R37 brush and I'm going to go into this shade right here and I'm going to blend that into my crease and I'm just literally just blending that into my crease and I'm like br blending it into my bridge the um, bridge of my nose as well just so everything is like even and it's all blended together nicely I'm gonna go in with this guy on that same brush and I'm gonna blend that into my crease as well and I'm literally just going to blend that into my crease And then I think I'm going to go in and deepen it with the shade right next to it. So I'm going to go in with this shade right here and I'm going to pack that all over my lid and then blend it out. Started dec I decorated already for Christmas. I decorated yesterday. I went out and I bought a bunch of stuff and decorated the house. So I filmed it. So I'm going to try to like edit it. It's like a vlog pretty much. So um, I did like a vlog style because I know you guys said you want to see more of like my personal life and little stuff like that. So... I tried vlog I tried vlogging. I'm not very good at that, but I did my best. So I'm gonna edit that footage. It's probably gonna be like a vlog slash like voiceover kind of a thing. So I hope you guys like it. Went back in with that same brush. This is the um, R37 brush, and I'm just blending out those edges. That's so cute! Oh my god, it looks so pretty. Mmm, so pretty. Okay. I'm gonna deepen it up just a little bit and I'm gonna like bring the um, like hot chocolate kind of a color up a tad bit just because I feel like it's too far down. So I'm pretty much bringing it into my crease. Yeah, you see the difference versus this eye versus this eye? Yeah, I like this eye better. That's what I feel like was missing. And I'm also making sure that they connect right here because you don't really want it to not connect. You want it to connect. That way it looks like a smoother um, transition gonna run that as well on the lower lash line you see how that just like brought everything together oh my god it's so pretty oh my god it's so pretty so while my lashes are drying we're gonna move on to the rest of the face i'm gonna go in with my anastasia beverly hills bronzer this is in the shade cappuccino um and i'm gonna use it out on my r2 brush by morphe and I'm just going to pat that on. 
I literally like to pat it into my cheekbones instead of swiping because I notice sometimes when I'm like swiping it or you know swirling it around and all that stuff I noticed that don't judge my lace guys I told you guys I did not lay the whole thing down um I noticed that if I do it like this I don't really get any like separation in my foundation or anything um so that's why I do this and then if you want to know a quick easy way to contour your nose in 10 seconds look Boom, contoured nose, done. I'm gonna go in with my Cover FX Enhancement Drops and I'm gonna apply those on my cheekbones first. First, and I'm gonna blend that out with a Morphe M510 brush. Now, I know you guys are probably like, girl, what are you doing? You already set your face with powder and you going in with liquid on top, but I promise you guys, once you blend this out, it looks so freaking good. See? I was so scared at first to do this because I'm like, oh my God, I'm using a powder. I already set my face with powder and I'm putting a liquid on top of that. Like it's about to be splotchy and just stick in one spot, but grow. It did not. No ma'am, no ham. going to dust off the powder I don't like to leave the powder for a long time I literally just leave it just to get a little bit of chiselness under there and to clean up my bronzer but I never like to let it bake because I feel like then the line becomes like really prominent and you can see it it's time for setting spray this has legit been my favorite 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 setting spray of all time I love the way that it like comes out I love everything about it so I'm gonna go in with my morphe setting spray I love this stuff For highlighter, I'm going to be using Coco Bling by Artist Couture. I'm going to just use what was in my cap. I never like to just go in and apply straight from there because I just feel like it's too much. Set it there first. Oh my God, look at that. Yeah. And then I'm going to tap off my brush and then I'm just going to go and blend it in. This is such like this is like the prettiest oh, prettiest prettiest highlight on the planet. Let's see. And I'm going to take some on my finger and apply it to my lip. Just because I don't really want the glitter everywhere. And then I'm also going to take my finger and apply it to my nose too. Lips today. I think I want to go in with this shade. This is in the shade Vampire, Vampira by Kat Von D. So I think I'm going to do that. But first I'm going to line my lips. And I'm going to use my MAC lip pencil in the shade Burgundy. Oh my god guys. I'm so scared. Okay, okay, I like it. Okay. All right, guys, well, that is it. This is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys like watching me. Um, I loved everything about it, but the lips, it's just something about the lips. I had to apply like three or four coats just to get it this dark, and I feel like it's still pink. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, guys, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Like, I know you just sat here and watched this whole video and didn't subscribe yet. Like, girl, just join the family just come hang out with me it's free you know what I'm saying like you'll get a video from me maybe once or twice a week girl get some entertainment so just go ahead and subscribe guys go ahead and subscribe it helps me out it helps my numbers and I love to see all of you guys come back so yeah guys that is all and I will see you guys in my next video bye